Welcome to the session on Web of Things. Now we know what is Internet of Things and its applications. Today there are different IoT products made by different manufacturers. Suppose you purchase IoT products from different manufacturers and you want to integrate them into one application. But this is the one limitation of Internet of Things. You purchased smart bulb made by company Alpha, home automation hub made by company Beta. Nest thermostat and doorbell also you purchased. Then how to integrate them into one single application? Each company provides one web application or Android application. Now you got four applications. Now you want these IoT devices to work together. How we can make them to work together? Take a simple case. Shop manager wanting to combine their security cameras with RFID gates so that he can create more secure system. Here the solution for solving this problem is web of things. Because sensors alone is not a valuable IoT device or activator alone is not valuable. Integrating them into one application and making them to work together adds more value to IoT products. So value addition is purely based on web of things because you are making things work together. Web of things is a concept to integrate IoT devices into a single web application. The web of things is a refinement of the internet of things by integrating IoT devices not only into the internet but into the web architecture. Web of things is a application level protocol. The ultimate goal of Web of Things is using the tools and techniques used in the web to Internet of Things scenarios. The Web of Things is the ability to use modern web standards on embedded devices. Modern web standards are social web, real time web, semantic web and programmable web. We apply these standards to Internet of Things scenarios. The social web is a set of social relations that link people through the world wide web. Examples of social web are Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Social web supports and foster social interaction. Suppose take an example Facebook where people can share and post their feelings, their views, images and we do a lot of things. Okay, It makes us to interact. Now we use these standards with IoT. Once integrated, your IoT devices can interact with social web. For example, IoT devices tweet sensor data, control IoT devices using Facebook Messenger and you can do a lot more. Next, applying standards of real-time web on Internet of Things. What is real-time web? A real-time web is one where information is transmitted instantaneously between users and the server or between users and the user. By integrating IoT devices with real-time web app, IoT devices can send data almost instantaneously. This enables real-time data monitoring and processing. Example for real-time uh, web is real-time IoT dashboard. Next, applying standards of semantic web on Internet of Things scenarios. What is semantic web? The semantic web is an extension of the World Wide Web through standards set by the World Wide Web Consortium W3C. The goal of semantic web is to make internet data machine readable. Semantic web standard helps to model and integrate data from different IoT devices and sources on the web. Semantic web standards are Microdata, JSON-LD, that is JavaScript object notation for linked data, schema.org, RDFA, or here RDFA is resource description framework in attributes and link headers. We can apply these standards on Internet of Things scenarios. Next, 
we are going to see about programmable web standards and we will try to apply programmable web standards on internet of things scenarios what is programmable web programmable web standard helps to design iot platform to scale your iot devices integration and also you can scale up your application development programmable web standards are rest rest means representational state transfer based apis so application programming interfaces application programming uh, interfaces are very helpful to exchange data between the client and server and json json is javascript object notation and mashups and web services so these are all programmable web standards most of the internet of things cloud platforms like ibm watson cloud amazon web services iot cloud and other platforms uses programmable web standards